Tracker 13's Abby Acconi. Good morning. We are tracking a bit of a transition time period this morning with some sunshine to go around, temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Not bad, but I'd still pack the jacket because we're tracking the possibility for some late afternoon rain transitioning into snow primarily later this evening through the overnight hours through tomorrow morning. So I'm saying Wednesday morning's commute will not be fun. But if the storm starts to speed up, that means we could see some slick conditions for the evening commute. We'll track it very closely. First, just a gorgeous view to show you. Pikes Peak Summit House showing off 13 degrees and a glorious sunrise. As for your travel tracker, rain and snow tomorrow. And then Thursday, I'm saying we could still see some residue, snow and ice. But Friday through the weekend and start of next work week, not bad. The next opportunity for snow doesn't come until next Tuesday. Temperatures at 50 degrees in Colorado Springs, 30 in Pueblo, some warm air ahead of the cold front later today. 20s and 30s in the eastern plains, and we're tracking the teens through the 40s for the mountains and the mountain valleys. Wind speeds are a bit breezy in the eastern plains, but outside of that, staying calm will be a bit breezy today. Live HE Doppler radar. <laughs> Wow, pretty uneventful, at least for the lower terrain, but we are continuing to track some snow just to the north and uh, also just to the west of Denver, so we'll continue to monitor the track of it. But it's expected to drop to the south, so by noon, impacting the Denver metro area. Here, spinning it farther, 1.30, we pause the clock. Some clouds, some snow, mostly staying uh, to the west of I-25, but it'll continue to drop to the south, bringing along with it some of that rain this afternoon, and then later tonight, that snow. So again, we'll have to monitor very carefully for just when it will transition into snow. Snow tracker, less than an inch expected by tomorrow for the eastern plains, 2 to 5 for Teller and El Paso counties, more than 8 inches. Uh, for the mountain terrain. All right, highs today ranging the 50s and 60s before that cooler air works on through. Temperatures on Wednesday only reaching 40 degrees, but take a look. We rebound pretty quickly into the 50s and the 60s by Valentine's Day. And then we are tracking for the three day weekend pretty good conditions, partly to mostly sunny skies. In Pueblo, 65 today, 44 we drop tomorrow, and then we track the 60s Thursday all the way through Monday. In Canyon City, that snow lingering over. Overnight through Wednesday morning, temperatures dropping to the lower 40s with, wow, just the 60s back in action Thursday through Monday. And for Teller County, 49 is today's high, 37 on Wednesday with overnight temperatures in the teens and in the 20s. Coming up, I will have your day planner just so you exactly know uh, what to expect throughout the day. All right, Abby, thanks. Yep. Now we'll get another check of your traffic with Paul Richards at Caradio News Radio.